I'm going to kill Treyarch. I have 16 cases to open and I know I won't get it. I know I won't fucking get it. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got it! I got it! Get out of the way! Oh, I broke something. I got the hitch! <laughs> I got it! I got it! I got it! Throwing knives in the air and hitting suckers. I be finding angles on these chickens like chuckers. Big ships still sing, but my boats are float. Before we get into the video, I'm giving away this controller over on Twitter. Black Ops 3 themed PS4 custom controller, courtesy of Pro Mods. Check out the tweet in the description. That is all. Winner pick today. Hey yo, what is up everybody, Chuck here, and as you can see by the, the video on the screen and the title and the intro and everything, I have the wrench on Black Ops 3. Open it this weekend over on Twitch, I apologize, that intro clip, my reaction, definitely alcohol induced. I do not normally scream like a female, uh, but I definitely did when I got the wrench, and I apologize for that if that hurt your ears, or if you hate me now, I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, gameplay in the background, I went 22 and 5 wrench only, I got the Dark Matter camo on it because they automatically give it to you. Um, if you had it unlocked previously, which is great. So thank you, Treyarch. I don't have to go and finish all the challenges for it, but I'll probably do it anyway. Um, and first thing I want to talk about is how much better I feel the wrench is in the knife. And the reason for it, as you'll see right here, uh, is that there's no delay after you bop a dude on the head. So watch this. Bop. 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 There's no delay. You know how when you knife, you have to pull it out of the enemy? You don't have to do that with the wrench. I love it. I fucking love it. That's how knifing should be. You'll also notice my teammate gets stuck under the map here. Check this out. Anyway, uh, I don't have much time to talk in this video because it's pretty short. I do get a kill claim at the end, so make sure you, you stay till the end. Um, but I do want to address one thing. One thing, well, well we're going to talk about two, actually. So first thing first, uh, people ask all the time. Rare or common supply drops, go with rare. I know that's what Treyarch and Activision want you to do, so they pay for them for god points, whatever. But to be completely honest, they have nerfed the shit out of both common and rare, therefore making common pointless. All right, now moving on to the more serious portion of today's video, balancing Twitch and YouTube. First things first, if you know somebody who does it well, go give them an internet high five. Uh, I don't think I do it too well, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it why. I think an, a lot of the issue is that I have so many people on YouTube who who think that I need to be uploading daily in order to, to be a YouTuber. Like, oh, you have 570,000 subs, you need to be uploading daily or you're lazy. And then I have people on Twitch who say, you have a bunch of people who've paid to sub to you, you should be streaming daily. So it's almost like... If there's a little bit of like a pick your poison type thing. Do you want to do Twitch or YouTube? There's benefits to both, but both take time. So whenever I stream, people on YouTube are like, Chuck, what? You're being lazy. Why aren't you uploading today? You should be uploading 400 times a day. You're lazy. That's not the case. I have videos that will take a week to make. And when I say a week, I mean like four or five hours of work on it every day to not only get the gameplay, but also edit it. Uh, sometimes I'll make videos. You'll notice some of them look really smooth. Those, those videos sometimes take three or four hours to render by themselves. That doesn't include the time it takes YouTube to process and publish them, which can take another four or five hours and sometimes longer. So if I know I can't get a video out by a certain time, uh, I've got like a cutoff time in my head where I will not publish a video after like 6.30 or 7 o'clock mountain time. Um, if, I, if I know that all those things can't be done by 7 o'clock, I'm just going to stream. And then I'll put it off till the next day, and then in the next day, let's say I have a hiccup and I can't finish the video because I know it won't finish, or won't upload by a certain time, I'm going to stream again. And it's a it's an unfortunate cycle because regardless of what I do, somebody's going to be upset. I needed to get this off my chest. So I'm sorry if this seemed like a rant type thing. I just want you to think twice before you consider like calling somebody lazy or if you think you're going to unsub to somebody on YouTube or unfollow them on Twitch because they don't do whatever you want them to do every single day it's not because they're lazy it's because they have shit to do i'm trying to do both at the same time i may not be doing a very good job of it uh, but i'm trying you know it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of time uh but i do love you guys and i appreciate all the support if you like the video or you like the look of this uh wrench dildo type thing uh, hit that like button. You guys basically control what I upload. To a certain extent, you guys can control that. So, showing support is a great way to do that. Hit that like button. Leave a comment if what your thoughts are on balancing Twitch and YouTube. How good of a job do you think I do? I may not do a very good job, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I do thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me. So, I love you. Thanks for watching. Sub if you haven't. Peace!